The community is now trying to come together. WHO 13's Teodora Mitov spoke with community members after the tragedy. What should have been the first day back from winter break for Perry students was cut short after a gunman opened fire in Perry High School, wounding several. Elementary, middle, and high school students were reunited with their families at the McCreary Community Center, and now the community is trying to move forward. Jose Guillen is a Perry High School alum who works at a local restaurant. It was one of the only establishments that remained open after the shooting. Like people really right now not really wanting to cook too, you know, no one really... A lot of people coming back home from out of town as well, uh, and just things like that, that like, you know, people still, like, for example, him, uh, he came in, so, like, he's one of the officers from uh, the other uh, counties from around here, so, you know, now still need fed. And mental health professionals are providing free counseling for community members at the Perry Public Library. Well, you know, it's just devastating. You know, you hear about school shootings all the time, but you don't expect it to be in, you know, at your home school or where you're from. Um, and, you know, <laughs> so we are here um, to provide mental health counseling to anybody in the community that feels like they need somebody to talk to. Counselors will be available on Friday and Saturday from 10 a.m. to 3 p.m. In Perry, Tiro Armitov, WHO 13 News.